I'm trying to understand what a giant black hole looking image has to do with rationality. Don't know. Welcome back to Yes Everyone. Today we're going to talk about The Rationale, the newest album released by Stefan Linzati. I actually don't know where his discography lies. I looked up a couple of things on the internet. He actually has a lot of music projects, but a lot of them are EPs. I believe he has at least one other album out there. So if anybody knows what number album this is, comment it down below. I would love to know. My reviews lately for EDM albums has been very interesting because for some reason, I feel like I need to review a lot of these slightly more ambient albums. I'm kind of more of a house, techno, bro step kind of guy, something that's like danceable on the, you know, on the floor kind of guy. Regardless, when I started listening to this album, I thought to myself, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it and see what I think about it. When I was thinking of how I could describe this album, the best way that I recently thought of was think of the very early seasons of Big Bang Theory and to imagine that maybe they could create music that was somewhat upbeat, but also somewhat kind of more in the scientific e oriented realm that would depict exactly kind of what this astrophysicist oriented project might be going for. It's definitely something that can get you in a mood, but I feel like only particular kinds of people are really going to appreciate it more than others. I do not blame any of you if this is not your thing, but I think that you should hear out my review of this album first. A lot of these songs go for about five to six minutes. The very first song, titled A Sacred Code, kind of gives you a very good idea of what kind of mood this album is going for. It sounds like software engineering as if it had melody to it, with a little bit of interesting trickle-down oriented moments that take place in the song. And that's probably what you're going to anticipate the majority of this album probably is going to sound like, but he does try to switch it up with a couple of different songs in here. Sticking around with possibly the, you know, most basic beat that you would have in here that still kind of gives an idea, okay, this would be like placed perfectly for the simplest dance scene that a movie just wants to have an excuse to have a DJ and a club in for something like that, song would be The Simplifying Man. <laughs> Kicking into that gear of switching things up, you can listen to the song The Fly, which has kind of like a bamboo-like stick sound that's added to the beat. And then probably near the end, the biggest surprise you would listen to is a slightly more airy tropical beat from the song The Operator. So me mentioning those songs kind of gives you an idea that yes, he can try and create some variance within the album. But I know that's not going to matter to a lot of you who just don't care about this five to six minute ambient oriented electric music. But if you are looking for something with a mood that kind of feels like it's kind of trying to give a mood, like it's trying to give a mood to like the darkest crevices of outer space, this might be something in kind of an insane kind of way if I'm really thinking if I'm in a rocket. Do I really want to be listening to this? Just feels like it's going on and 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 on. I don't know. The biggest issues that I probably have with this album mostly revolve around the idea that maybe some of the songs with the length that they have don't switch it up enough, but mm, the ambiance is trying to portray a consistency. So sometimes it may be me and sometimes maybe it is the song itself. It kind of just depends. I tried to be fair in my analysis, depending on what the song was. An example of that would be the song Search for Regular, which kind of has like an interesting cashier and hum type of beat going on in here. 
And that one I, I enjoyed, but I was a little doled out by the end because I thought it wasn't switching things up enough. And that's going to be true for about maybe a third of the songs in here. It's not like something that totally is destroying the song for me. It's just something that's like, well, that wasn't bad, but I wish my engagement was as strong as it was at the beginning. That's really the only thing that I can say about this album that is, for me, a mild negative. Again, this might not be for you, but there is something to be said about searching for a mood or an ambiance that this album actually could just trigger the right moment for you, perhaps. So after having listened and reviewed this album, I'm going to give production an A-, minus, creativity a B, expression and lyrics a B, and how would I recommend this album? I'm going to give it a good. Yeah, I don't really have anything harsh to say. Despite that, I kind of feel like I'm just kind of in the middle of the road for that. Some of you are going to adore listening to the type of ambiance this album gives. And some of you are just not going to care whatsoever. I'm kind of just in the dead center. But I can recognize the good qualities that it has. So I have to just, you know, say it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me and my social media links down in the description below. And be sure to leave a like for the video as well as a comment down below if you want to engage with me. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time.